Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for January 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Good card, Aries. Fire energy. The Four of Wands. Fire energy is your element. This is a card of celebration. It's a time of getting to relax and reap the rewards. It's good times. It's the completion of a stage. This is a romance, it's harvest and home and taking time to pause and relax. It's extremely positive. You get to enjoy life and reap those rewards. Could be something new soon coming, a happy time. It's success and being happy and productive, celebration and reward. Could be planning. And it's a pause in activities and a tranquil time. Could be a holiday, maybe even purchasing a new home. It's a foundation for creativity. It heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. Sometimes it's taking a relationship to a new level. It's a reward for breakthrough. It's a level that is finished. It's being happy and triumphant and liberated, feeling sociable. You're reaching a milestone, celebrating, maybe even graduating, marrying, enjoying festivities. Could even be... Uh, homecoming parties. It's marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. Could have to do with property and land and a strong community. It's putting down roots of someone. You could be moving in together. Could be celebrating a housewarming. This is the 1111 card portal. It's a twin flame which brings in a sense of stability. Could even be a run of luck. Your second card, and this is the energies that are crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Empress. This card is ruled by Venus, so this could represent a Libra or a Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a maternal energy. This could be a mother or someone mothering, uh, nurturing. This is material abundance and fertility. This card represents the productive generative activities in the subconscious versus the high priestess as a virgin state of subconscious, then after it's been impregnated by seed ideas. The subconscious has control over all steps of the development in the material world. This is the multiplicator of images and an omen for success, a symbol of hope. This is a very powerful, positive energy. It's material wealth, another marriage card. It's fertility for would-be parents, farmers, or even people in the creative arts. It's love through compassion and nurturing and an opening to pleasure. It's beauty and abundance, passion and sensual involvement with the world, a time of sexual desire and enjoyment of life, this could be someone showing a motherly concern for another or being nurturing. This has to do with natural growth. These are generative energies, creative impulses, and sexuality. This could be health improvement. This is the female authority card. This is someone that questions none of the decisions that they make. It's the wisdom of a woman who has gained it through experience. The Four of Wands with the Empress card, this is a happy event. Surprises can have a classy tone and lead to financial stability. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. The Eight of Swords, Aries. This is air energy, card of restrictions, bondage, they are self-imposed. It has to do with your thoughts. They're mind-forced manacles. This is limiting beliefs. It's a temporary endurance with restrictions. 
It's a fear to move out of a situation. It could be being your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. Might be feeling trapped. You'll need to use courage to think in a new way and cast off bonds and obligations. And in this situation at hand, unless you change habitual behavior, you'll not get any further. And when you dwell on wrong thoughts and ideas, it binds you from moving forward. This could represent someone that dislikes their work, but they do it anyway. They may be confused about what to do. That's just having self-doubt and not seeing clearly. Blindfolds on the cards, like in the Two of Swords, can represent you're not seeing the obvious. There are problems to overcome and decisions to make. You will not remain stuck. You're feeling like you're trapped with no way out, but there is a solution to every problem. It's a reminder that real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. You're feeling bound by circumstances, but you're not really confined. You only think you are, and that thinking makes it so. Prisons of thoughts and doubts and resentments, judgments, obsessions and projections. It's being frustrated and confined and stifled, feeling hemmed in, blind to possibilities, held hostage by real or perceived limitations. Four of Wands with the Eight of Swords, this is worrying about what others think. It's someone may not be the marrying kind, could be a fear of commitment. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome and the resolution. And being in the future position, this can be a surprise. Number two of the Major Arcana, the High Priestess. This can be a Pisces or a Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This has to do with hidden, hidden influences, secret knowledge. This is linked to the moon and Venus. It's female energy. It's passive. It has emotion. It's the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest, and it's gestation before new life has to do with divine truth and wisdom and nurturing the spark of creation. It's the connection with the unconscious world, unrevealed future, and hidden influences at work here. This has special value for artists and poets and composers and mystics. And when this card appears in a man's reading, it can represent the perfect woman that all men dream of. Dream of. And this is of a woman's reading. This can represent you. This is honoring your inner being with natural insight, secrets, mystery, silence, tenacity, wisdom, and even silent, a science. This is the unknown. It can represent a quiet woman in a time when it is better to sit still and seek peace within the self. Seek awareness and be still. Listen to your own inner knowledge because you can answer your questions on your, yourself because the knowledge is inside of you. This could be something that yet to be revealed that's hidden or interior that's preparing to come forth. Or you need to pay attention to your inner world of dreams and imagination and intuition. This can be our secret selves longing to be recognized. Or you may be experiencing awareness of the invisible world where inner change takes place before it manifests in the outer material world. And right now you're tuned into these inner invisible sources. It's very acute now. And you're in a position to take advantage of this. You may want to literally remove yourself from your day-to-day -day life to go deeper into your inner core. Tune into your inner voice and spiritual awareness. This can represent the most important woman in your life. It could be secrets that you're keeping to yourself. The Four of Wands with the High Priestess. This can represent someone that may already be married or have mother issues they may be trying to hide. This can represent a psychic circle. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Six of Cups, Aries, water energy, can represent someone's sun in Scorpio. This is a card of being nostalgic, happy memories, safety and security, being nostalgic. It's echoes from the past, 
looking back, could be receiving a gift or giving a gift, so be open for nurturing. This can be an emotional conversation connected to your past that will shed light on your future. This is an unmistakable bond. There's a karmic attraction here. You could have been soulmates in a past life, even. You can brighten the day of another with small gifts or gestures of kindness and become childlike again and, res and resolve bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy and take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This could be digging up missing aspects of our rich store of past experiences. Maybe someone does not wish to get their fingers dirty. Could be the possible fear of some truth coming out about one's own childhood and origins. Someone digging up dirt. This is a blooming spiritual experience. A meeting with an old friend or an old lover. Something with roots in the past that may be reconsidered. And that may be past efforts, may be present or future rewards. This can represent a helpful person. This can be thoughts of a past love that are still haunting. If the relationship has ended, you're better off for it. But if the relationship is still going strong, it means a deeper commitment. This is given the benefit of the doubt. Four of Wands with the Six of Cups. This can be a reunion with someone from the past. Even a return to a childhood home. Could be introducing a partner to friends and family. This could even be um, a children's or old friend's birthday party. Okay, the emperor, empress, I mean, with the eight of swords, this is someone that feels like they might be helpless or disempowered, disempowered a woman. The empress with the high priestess, this is the actual developing of an idea into reality. It's knowing how to take care of needs. The Empress with the Six of Cups can represent happy children, can represent a home bird, also a nostalgic woman. The Eight of Swords with the High Priestess, this can represent hidden feelings. It can be repressing yourself, being emotionally blocked. The Eight of Swords with the Six of Cups can represent painful memories. Someone might have had a difficult childhood. The High Priestess with the Six of Cups represents someone returning from the past that you have deep spiritual lessons to teach each other. Could be something not clear about the past to be revealed that was hidden. Could be memories from the past that come to the surface. This can also represent a psychic child, even your sister. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Aries, you've got card number 87 card of synchronicity. Synchronicity, Aries. This card indicates a need to have faith in the universal order of events. Even in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty, there is no such thing as an accident or coincidence in the universe. Seeing all the Eight of Swords can represent hopelessness. This is very synchronistic. And the perfect people and opportunities are going to appear in your life miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicity to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It is simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows and winds and the whos lie in the hand of the divine, but once you surrender the outcome, you are shown the next logical step. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity. By living in consi consistent alignment with the source through positive thoughts, emotions, and prayer, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. There's an affirmation with this card, and it is, I have faith that synchronicity will lead me to where I need to be. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.